We just finished subnetting several networks into smaller subnets, and we did this by changing the subnet masks. We presented these subnet masks in what's called slash notation. This is also known as bit count notation because it represents the number of bits in the subnet mask. But what exactly does that mean? Well, in this clip, we're going to get a clearer picture of what exactly slash notation is and how it relates to dotted decimal notation. Our customer has asked us to convert 10.0.0.0 with a dotted decimal mask of 255.255.192.0 to slash notation. All we have to do is write out the dotted decimal mask in binary and count the number of bits that are set to 1. The network in this case is 10.0.0.0 and the subnet mask is 255.255.192.0. Now, the part of this that we're interested in is the subnet mask. The network address doesn't matter at all in this case because it's not going to change. We're only interested in the subnet mask. Now, if you look at the first two octets of the mask, 255.255, each of these octets is composed of 8 bits, which are all set to 1. So, we simply add these together to get 16. Now, let's take a look at the third octet, which is 192. We write this out in binary, which is 11000000. Next, we count the number of ones in the third octet that we just converted to binary. In this case, there's only two bits that are set to one. So finally, we add the result two to the number of bits from the first two octets, 16, and the result is 18. The subnet mask in slash or bit count notation is 18. So the answer would be 10.0.0.0 slash 18. Now remember earlier I emphasized how important it is to know binary. Going from dotted decimal to slash notation is very easy if you know binary. So what about going the other way from slash to dotted decimal? Well, for that, let's look at our next customer request. The customer asks us to address all links according to the layer 3 topology diagram. Now we've seen the layer 2 topology diagram, but what is this layer 3 topology diagram? Well, it's this. Now this looks a bit different than the layer 2 diagram. You'll notice that there is no frame relay cloud and there are no DELCs. That's okay though because we don't need to know that in order to address the links. But what we do need to know is how to convert these subnet masks in slash notation to dotted decimal notation. Now I've circled these three in particular because they are slash 28, slash 29, and slash 30 subnets. And if you look at the rest of the subnets on the topology diagram, you'll notice that every one of them is either a slash 28, slash 29, or slash 30. So if we just convert these three, we'll have the dotted decimal notation for the entire network. But why do we need to convert these in the first place? Well. When you're configuring an interface, Cisco requires IPv4 network masks to be given in dotted decimal notation. So in order to fulfill the customer's request, we have to convert these slash 28, 29, and 30-bit subnet masks to dotted decimal notation. So let's start with 10.0.18.0 slash 28. And again, we're only concerned with the net mask portion, not the IP network itself. The first thing we do is we write out 28 binary ones grouped into octets. Now moving from left to right we have eight ones, a dot, another eight ones, and another eight ones. That's 24 bits right there. Eight times three is 24. And then another four ones finally to make 28. Now since each octet must have eight bits by definition the remaining bits are going to be zeros. So next we convert each octet to decimal to get the dotted decimal net mass. Now remember from earlier, all ones in binary is 255. So the first three octets are 255. And the last octet, 11110000, is 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16, which is 240. So the subnet presented in dotted decimal format is 10.0.18.0. 255.255.255.240, which is the new subnet mask. Okay, if you didn't quite catch that one, we're going to do another one. Let's do 10.0.23.0 slash 29. Now the first thing we do is write out 29 binary ones, again grouped into octets. So we have 
eight ones, a dot, another eight ones, a dot, another eight ones, and then another five ones to make the 29 total bits that are set to one and the rest are zero. Next, we convert each octet to decimal. The first three octets are of course two, five, five, and the last octet, one, 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 zero, 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 is 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus eight, which is 248. So the subnet presented in dotted decimal format is 10.0.23.0, 255, 255, 255, 248. Okay, last one. Let's do 10.0.12.0 slash 30. I'm going to go a little faster on this one. We're going to write out 30 binary ones grouped into octets. Then we have another six ones at the end to make 30 total one bits, and the rest are zero. We convert each octet to decimal. The first three octets are 255, 255, 255, and the last one is 1111100, which is 252. So the subnet presented in dotted decimal format is 10.0.12.0, 255, 255, 255, 252. So, so far we've got a slash 28, which is 255.255.255.240, slash 29, which is 255.255.255.248, and slash 30, which is 255.255.255.252.